Now it is super early in the morning and you can probably tell from the bags under my eyes but we have made it down to Lizard Point here in Cornwall. Now it is the 28th of May, it's super early and we're at the Lizard so that can only mean one thing. Yep, it is Mud Crew Southwest Traverse Day and we probably shouldn't be but we are going racing. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Now if you've been following the channel, you'll know that I've been pretty ill over the last couple of weeks and you'll also know that I am a massive fan of the stunning Southwest Traverse route. Uh, we've done a few videos uh, on the channel featuring the Southwest Traverse and the classic quarter that runs on the same route, so I didn't want to miss out on this year's race. But today we are going to be doing it a little bit different, so we're actually running it as a three-man relay team, which is probably a good idea with how I'm I'm actually feeling after being ill. So I think the best thing we can do is go and get registered and meet the team. introduce everybody to Mike. Mike has come all the way from America to run the Southwest. I, wa I watched your video, figured I had to do it, so 4,000 4, miles later here we are. Pretty excited. <laughs> that is commitment. Yeah, and we're all about it. Why have you come down here, mate? Why have you chosen the Southwest of Earth? Oh man, so I, we had all intention of coming down for a visit. We have some friends who live here. Uh, and it lined up really perfectly that I was looking for a race and I saw your video and I literally watched all 38 minutes of it multiple times. Wow, that Kept is, seeing all the awesome. views and yeah. excited. I was just like, I have something I gotta check it's out. So I'm pretty excited about it. Room, especially with the sunshine. Oh, it looks like a beautiful day. And you were saying earlier, you, you, this is a part of a, a sort of training plan? Yes, yeah, yeah. So I am, uh, this is in the middle of my training cycle. I have a hundred mile race back in the States called Burning River. Uh, and it'll be through a national park in Ohio called uh, the, uh, uh, Cal yeah, Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Ohio. <laughs> so, amazing. part of the training we'll cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll see you out in the room. Oh, Thanks looking so forward to it. Thanks, man. Yes, no problem. My pleasure. Okay, I've seen it all now. Only Mud Crew can have a stilt walker walking all the runners around. Oh, it gets bizarre by the minute. I don't know. Yeah, I know, Ali G star brothers in it. <laughs> Ooh, <I gotcha. laughs> so this is Luke, he is going to be running the first leg, then we're going to be switching over to Rob Argo on the middle leg, and I'm going to be running the last leg. Well, running with a bit of walking. Three, two, one, go! Enjoy! So the runners are off on their epic journey on the coast path down here in Cornwall. We've got solo runners and team runners. And we got Luke, our first runner in our relay team, out there down the front of the pack. So we're going to head our route. We're going to try and film the guys going through at certain points. And we'll try and uh, get some footage of Luke doing the first leg. I've actually got to go and meet Luke at Mullion Hotel. I've got a, drinks, uh, a couple of drinks bottles for him to pick up. So there they go, off down onto the coast path. We've got a glorious blue sky day for the race. It always seems to be good weather for this race. So. Let's get back to the adventure bus and we'll go and meet Luke at Mully and Cove. So we have made it up to Mullion Hotel, the top of Mullion Cove. I've got Luke's bottle. We're probably about five miles into the race, so not far in, but it's gonna be a warm one today. So we're gonna go and cheer a few runners through, get Luke his uh, extra bottle, and then we'll be moving on to the next stop. 
We're just making our way down the uh, sketchy steps from the Mullion Hotel into this epic cove behind me. We got runners coming down the hill already. I think they're relay runners. And I think one of them is Ryan Hanley, who is actually a TNT runner. So we'll head down uh, into the little cove here, into the little fishing village, and we'll cheer him up the steps, give him a lift so that he can get up these steps nice and quick. But he is flying. Here he comes now. Give us a high five. Well done, mate. Awesome running. And he's off. There he goes, up the hill. No walking for Ryan, that's for sure. Um, he is pushing hard and uh, his relay team are actually all made up from family. They're all brothers, which is pretty cool. So we have just bumped into Liz here and new for the Southwest Traverse this year is the extreme event. So how are you feeling, Liz? <laughs> Better though, I've had something to eat. Yeah, I'm awesome. Very I'm feeling tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So these guys yeah. started five o'clock yesterday. Uh, they started obviously from Land's End. They've run uh, back to the Lizard and now Liz is going back from the Lizard back to Land's End. How is that? That's a little bit bonkers if you ask me. But... <laughs> Wow, amazing. She's still looking super fresh. Like I said, new for the race this year, the extreme event. Um, having run this route quite a few times, not sure I would want to do an out and back on it, especially in this weather. It is going to be toasty later on on this race, but looking good. We'll go and cheer a few more of the extreme runners through. What do you think so far then, Mike? I'm living a dream. Yeah. This is incredible. It's a mega route, isn't it? Hey. Okay, so that is us done a mullion. We handed over the bottles to Luke. We cheered a few runners through, spoke to a few guys in the extreme distance event, which is mind boggling. Now we are gonna go and head over to Porth Leven. That is where Luke is gonna hand over the number to Rob, who's running our second leg. Um, I'm gonna try and get the drone in the air as well because it looks epic out there on the coast path today in this amazing sunshine. So let's get over to Porth Leven. Let's get parked up and let's get that drone in the sky. Roving reporter out on the route. We have caught up with TNT team member Luke McLean and his better half. Both running strong. Yeah, good. Feeling good, loving life. Yeah, yeah I love that. Pretty good conditions, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. Look at the view. Yeah. So Luke is going to change over in a minute at Port Levin. Hopefully, Rob's there. Yeah. Have to, I don't even know what he looks like. I'll oh. show you. I'll guide you in. Blue hat. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. He, he's never met Rob, which is quite bizarre, but um, there you go. I'll have to show him who he is so he can hand the number and the GPS tracker over. So we're just heading back to Port Levin. I bumped into these two crazy men. Hey, They're running the extreme. Yeah. Uh, whatever possessed you to enter this event? I'm interested. It gets me out of mowing the lawn. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a fair one. And have you, have you done the route before as like the Southwest Traverse or the Yeah, we've done port? the Traverse and the Classic Quarter. So you should know better then, really, shouldn't you? Oh, we should, really. Hey? But I'm a slow learner. <laughs> You're still moving well, though, guys. Yeah. And, you've, and you pretty much cracked it, you know? Uh, yeah, not not much further to go. There's a tight checkpoint at Penzance. Okay, okay. So, uh, How much time have you got left? We're all right. Um, yeah, cool. We've got to the top this evening. Oh. Um, 
plenty of time. That section is quite tough. Oh yeah, yeah. That's 13. Yeah, that's and that's the as well. that's the one I'm running. <laughs> uh, not yeah. too quick. Actually. Yeah, I'm being a lightweight today. How <laughs> are right. you, boys? You're not riding the bike, are you? Yeah, I was going to say. I wonder if they would let me ride. Although that last section would be much good on a bike, no, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right. Well, well done, guys. You're looking you really moving really well. Really yeah, well. Thank you. You good must. Uh, you. you must be doing something right. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, see you later guys. So we've made it down to Port Flevon cool. checkpoint. Everybody's looking pretty yes. happy in here. That was there. Yeah. 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 Come on mate, head up, head up. So we're trying to find our team member. Rob is here somewhere. Uh, we'll find him. I'm sure he's lurking around somewhere. Here he is. Yeah. How, are <laughs> How you doing pal? Good thanks man. How you doing? Uh, long time no see. Feeling fit? Ready to go? So Rob has done us a massive favour. Unfortunately, <laughs> Tristan was supposed to be running. Was he? Yeah, he couldn't do it, unfortunately, last minute. So Rob oh, has stepped in. Absolute pleasure. Been, yeah, awesome. It's good so to have you along for the ride. Well, mate, like this is incredible. Well, sunny day. You know by now. South Come on, classic quarter, Southwest Traverse. The sun comes <laughs> always out. Sunny. Always hot. There's always a point where you're running along and you go, I want to be swimming. Yeah, always, always. Yeah. Normally, yeah. Yeah. Level. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I look into yeah, yeah, the yeah. harbour and yeah. I'm like, oh. I haven't even started yet and I'm feeling the same. They're not that far away mate. Here they are. Here they are. Oh, oh boy. Hey. So we need to get the number changed over. You yeah. need to get the tracker put on. That's it. Yeah Luke. Luke <laughs> Right let's get you sorted out. I assume she picked it up. Yeah. yeah Here's your man. Here's your man. Good job, right? We need a tracker. Have oh, we got someone to do a tracker? Oh cheers Robin. Robin's on it. Oh Neil's on it. Oh we've got a bit of a pit crew going on here. <laughs> Right, mate, well, have a safe run. Yeah, cheers, I'll see mate. you in Penzance. Penzance. Yeah. Don't, don't run too quickly, mate. Don't no, run too take quickly. Take it easy. Don't take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Luke. Awesome effort, yeah, mate. Enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. You can do it all again. Yeah, yeah. All right. right, he's yeah, off. Boys. Oh, he's off. Yeah. Go steady, Rob. Yeah. See you in Penzance, mate. Have a good one. So the number's been handed over to Rob, the tracker's on, I spent a bit of time there filming, so I've got to rush back to the old adventure bus, get the bike packed away, and then get over to Penzance, get my race kit on, try and do some filming along the way as well. It's all a bit hectic at the moment, but let's get to Penzance. <laughs> Don't mind, mate. Just to get in your in there, oh, awesome, just remember to give it to That's it, Bree. Yeah. Right. Well, you can catch the next one, Lloyd. Awesome Enjoy. running, Rob. You're Cheers, flying, bro. man. I'm Thank standing there filming in the dunes, and he's running towards me. I'm like, that's Rob. Yeah. I've got to go. Mate, I'm representing the boys. Go, go, go. Right, thanks, mate. Right. See you soon, yeah? Right, well, that's me done. Number on. Tracker in the pack. Rob's done his stint, and uh, I'm, I'm really not ready for this. In, in my pocket, I got it. Don't worry, don't panic, don't panic. <laughs> right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Woo! Cheers, guys. Awesome. Right, um. <laughs> right, we're off. I haven't even done my pack up. Let's do my pack up, shall we? Oh my god, chaos. He ran it way quicker than I thought he would. There we are, standing chatting, and he's coming down the road. Anyway, let me get myself sorted out. I'll come back to the camera in a minute. Well, that was definitely a frenetic uh, handover, that's for sure. Not what I had in planned. But we've uh, got a mile into the run, and I'm happy to say, I'm actually feeling all right. 
After being ill a few weeks ago, I haven't run a step and I really didn't know how I was going to feel. Really wanted to get out and run, but I thought it could be a bit of a disaster. But so far, we're only a mile in, but body feels good. Breathing feels good. And we're just going to take it nice and steady, try and keep that heart rate low. I'll run all the road section. We've got probably three, four miles before we get out back onto the trail. And it's a lot more technical from then on. So there'll be some walking to be done. Just going to walk all the hills, run all the flats, run the downs. So should be all right. But at the moment, feeling good. Cheers, Marshall. You having a, you, you having a good day? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you I may decide. It's a great day. <laughs> I might not look as fresh as the finish. You will. Cheers, Mikey. So we're off that horrible tarmac. We've made it to the trail section in true Southwest Traverse and Classic Court style. It's pretty overgrown, so you've got to watch your feet on the rocks. But yeah, I'm actually still quite surprised how duck there, how I'm feeling. We're what, three and a half miles in. The road section, I was just bobbing along, sort of eight minute mile in, and I was surprised how the lungs felt pretty free. Uh, like I said, I really thought I was going to feel bad, but so far, really chuffed with how I feel, and it's so good to be out running again after two weeks of doing literally nothing, just trying to recover. So yeah, 15 miles is the section. So we're, uh, we're getting it done pretty quick. So on this route, even though it's very hot today, although we have got a bit of cloud cover, it was super, super hot this morning. This section is always super humid. It's like someone turns the temperature gauge up 10 degrees. It is warm out here. It's really sheltered. There's no breeze. It's overgrown, so it tends to sort of catch and hold that heat in. So it's definitely going to be a warm one. Got to keep up on the fluids. As far as nutrition, I'm using a more than 320 drink mix in both bowls. So I'll get all my calories from my liquid and I'll just make sure I drink plenty of water at the checkpoint and I'm taking salt tablets as well. So it should be all right, especially if you're only 15 miles. But yeah, it's a warm one. beautiful little village of Lamorna already. We crushed that first section. Went so quick. Well done. Cheers, mate. Always easier when uh, you've only just started running, obviously. Here's the crew. Look at them. So through the morning. Cheers, mate. Through the morning. And now we got a super technical bit. Coming out of the morning. Do a bit of rock climbing, a bit of scrambling, but it's super good fun. Up we go. Pretty, uh, pretty bleh. Pretty epic backdrop though, but we are going this way, scrambling through the rocks. Again, you know, I've done what? Five miles, this is no problem. But you can imagine how the guys feel who've, uh, who are running the race solo, or how the guys feel when they're coming through here in the arc, or how the guys feel they're doing the extreme version of this race. And they've had to go through here twice. Not for me, thank you very much. But I love this bit. Hello. Yes, how are you? Hello, all right. So we spoke, we spoke to Clive earlier. <laughs> he was looking a little bit fresher then, but this man is doing the extreme. Yes. Well done, mate. We're getting there. We're You're getting around there. the corner now. I know. You I feeling know. all right? Yeah, apart from the legs fell off. Yeah, yeah but you know, it's <laughs> happen, it? you're still moving in the right direction. One foot in front of the other. Well done, Go. mate. I'll well see done, you at the finish, yeah? Yeah, see you at the finish. I'll cheer you in. <laughs> well done, mate. Awesome effort. Go steady though, go steady. Oh no, I was fearful of this bit. My nice, shiny, lovely, beautiful new shoes and we have got a bog fest. So, I'm going to try and tiptoe through this, 
standing on the pieces of wood, which maybe isn't the best idea, but also I don't really want soaking wet feet, but you can see how boggy it sits through here. I mean, it's underwater. <laughs> uh, where do I go now? Over here. Oh my God, it's like a, it's like an assault course. We've done it, ha <laughs> ha. Up yours, mud. We got clean shoes. That's another one of the steep climbs done. That feels good. Up we go. 10 mile race check in and I'm still running. So things are going really well. We've just gone through that really tricky section of all those big steep steps to go up and down. But you do run through some gorgeous little fishing villages as well, but it's definitely a tough section. In the distance there, you can see the Minak Theatre. So uh, like I say, just, just over 10 miles. We're heading to the Minak steps. Pretty tough set of steps, but should be all right. I've only done 10 miles. But look at those epic views. <laughs> wow. If that don't give you energy, nothing will. Really good so far. The only thing when it comes to my body is when I was ill, I had quite a dry, sore throat and the back of my mouth is quite painful at the moment. I don't know whether it's that or whether I'm a little bit dehydrated, but I've had a good drink of water and it's settled down a bit. So yeah, only what? Just under five miles to go. So we're crushing it. Awesome, Minak, here we come. That'd be nice. We've got some nice flat coke. Uh, well, uh, lemon would be good. <laughs> right, I suppose I should do some running really, shouldn't I? Go on. Go. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Sorry guys, there's been a bit of a filming blackout because when I left the checkpoint of the Minac, someone told me that we're in third place in the relay. I'm not sure it's correct, but it was like a red rag to a ball. So I put my head down and I've been pushing hard for the finish and I'm starting to pay for it now. A little bit of cramp, uh, but some tablets, lots of water. I seem to held it off, but we are in the last mile. Super happy to say that the body is held up. I was pretty dubious whether I should even be running today and I really wasn't sure how I'd feel after being ill. And my body's felt pretty good. You know, I'm a bit tired, a bit fatigued, but I don't feel too bad. Breathing's been good. So yeah, definitely a thumbs up. We've got a pretty epic view behind me, but believe me, the one in front of me is even better. Have a look at this. Look at that beautiful, big white building in the distance. So let's get over that finish line and have a sit down. Ooh. Cheers guys. <laughs> there it is, finish line. Get in. <laughs> We've done it. We survived Jane. Like Just about. Well done. <laughs> oh, that is the Mud Crew. <laughs> Southwest Reverse Relays done.
Yoshi medals. Right. We did it. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah. Right, I'm back uh, um, uh, to the adventure bus in Penzance where I frantically run away from earlier to go and meet Rob at the checkpoint. And I've got to say it, that day went a lot better than I expected. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I really didn't know how my body was going to react after being ill. And I honestly thought that I was going to run the road section and then pretty much walk all the trail to the finish. And I reckon I actually ran 90% of it. I only walked up the big steep steps and the steep hills. So uh, definitely a thumbs up uh, with my body feeling pretty rubbish over the last couple of weeks. Uh, it, it's a pretty amazing achievement. And we actually came third men's relay team, which is quite hilarious really because I was running along filming and chatting to people but yeah great to come third in the relay uh, I'm definitely going to go home recover take it easy get lots of calories in get lots of fluid in as well because my throat feels a little bit dry so I think I'm dehydrated the last thing I want to do is take a backward step after being ill for so long starting to feel better I don't want to make myself ill again so we're going to look after ourselves but yeah really hope uh, you enjoyed the video it was great to meet lots of you out there on the route guys coming up and saying hello really appreciate that and awesome that Stuart Sharp a patron of the channel won the solo race and Stuart Thompson another great supporter of the channel came second in the bonkers extreme event so well done guys awesome running uh, if you've enjoyed the video guys you know what to do hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I've left a link below in the description for Mud Crew if you want to find out any more information about the Southwest Traverse or any of the other brilliant races they put on in Cornwall but yeah that's it for today guys we'll be back on the channel very soon and as always stay, stay safe, safe and keep, keep running. running down here registration and i've just bumped in to stuart Sharp, yeah. who is a proper og supporter of the channel is this your first time running the southwest traverse yeah it's my first ultra as well first ultra <laughs> first southwest traverse Why not? this boy can run though so you know uh, i don't want to take faith but he should uh, position quite high up the table hopefully <laughs> if things go to plan fingers crossed